this is there is a general perception that the quality of law making is on decline in recent decades do you agree justify your answer you may or may not agree and this answer must be justified with some facts and figures how to make a good beginning i am making the beginning with after 10 years we are once again entering into the coalition era with no single party majority at the same time we are going to have formal leader of the opposition it is time to have a look at how to improve the quality of law making by both the treasury and the opposition various statistics point towards the decline in the law making process i have taken prs legislative research statistics to substantiate the deterioration in the quality of law making if you look at these statistics it is clearly evident that the law making is on decline look at the recent prs research 17th lok sabha it is sat for on an average 55 days per year in comparison to 66 days in the previous lok sabha of course this particular lok sabha 17th lok sabha has covid 19 and if you look at the first lok sabha it sat for 135 days of course these many days are not required in nowadays because the emails and other internet related communication systems in the era of these internet related communication systems sitting for 135 days may not be necessary but whatever days they sit they should make use of the time available that is the important aspect second is in the 17th lok sabha 35% of the bills were passed with less than one hour of discussion another important aspect is in the 15th lok sabha 71% of the bills were referred to the parliamentary committees whereas this reduced to around 16 17% in the 17th lok sabha or you can say less than 20% of the bills are referred to the parliamentary committees and some of the bills have not been placed in the public domain for suggestions i am asking second question immediately after this what is the importance of placing the draft bills in the public domain as far as what is the importance of referring important bills to the parliamentary committees that question i am asking as the next question increase in litigation in the courts the government is the biggest litigant part of the reason is faulty law making and the increase in the litigation involving government that also shows quality law making has declined passage of the bills without adequate scrutiny and debate that it became the bone of contention between treasury and the opposition benches in fact one famous political columnist pointed out opposition has its say the government has its way whatever the opposition says government is doing whatever it wants to do so therefore there is no synergy there is no coordination between opposition and the government both the sides have to be blamed it is not the problem from one side so coordinated approach is the need of the hour and opposition should behave in a responsible way and the government should see the opposition as political opponent but not adversary like pakistan or any other country and the onus is on both the treasury and the opposition so these statistics clearly indicate that the quality of the law making is on decline in recent decades so there is no second thought about it how to make a good end during the 17th lok sabha term members from both houses were suspended on 206 occasions in fact the blame is to be taken by treasury and the opposition you cannot blame one party the functioning of the house is the responsibility of the treasury benches but at the same time opposition has to play constructive role but not a disruptive role 
the owner sees on the treasury benches to increase the number of hours number of days at the same time the opposition should look at constructive debate constructive discussion it should not obstruct the proceedings so opposition should play a constructive role without obstructing the proceedings so the first specific question is quality of the law making is on decline in recent decades we have to agree we have to substantiate with facts and figures what is the way forward also i have given have a nice day thank you